Today, I would like to introduce you a new grand challenge, that is the Nobel Children Challenge. As its name indicates, this is the challenge to make AI system that can make a high impact scientific discoveries. Now, the goal, the question is, can we build highly autonomous AI robotic system that can make series of major scientific discoveries worthy of Nobel Prize and even beyond? Can we build this such a machine by 2050, for example? And that, that is the goal of the challenge. And you might ask, you know, can AI system can win actually win a Nobel Prize? Okay, we have to satisfy two things. One, AI system has to be able to make a major scientific discovery. And the second thing is Nobel Committee is going to award the system without noticing if that is the human beings. In order to accomplish this, AI system has to be able to accomplish two things. One is the scientific discovery. That is, the AI system should be able to make a major scientific discovery, not just one, probably like a series of scientific discoveries, highly autonomously or fully autonomously. And of course, not just discover, you have to be able to communicate in form of publications and explain, you know, reasoning behind that discovery. Now, second, making discovery is one thing, but at the same time, discovery has to be significant for our civilization. So you have to be able to make a strategic choice of the research and explain the value and the potential applications and the social implications. That means the AI system need to align with the value system, our civilization. Okay, so two sub goals that are very interesting, each of them are worthy of investigating. Now, some of you may ask, you know, if that is like a machine, how people take it seriously. But at the same time, like if you remember the Bitcoin and blockchain, it was started from the uh, blog post as the person named Satoshi Nakamoto. Obviously, this is a Japanese name, but no one ever met Satoshi Nakamoto. And we don't know who it is, if that is like an individual or a group of people. And the only reason we believe this is not artificial intelligence is that we know AI is not good enough. So, look, you know, it doesn't really matter whether big inventions or big discovery is made by the machine or a human being. If that is significant, we take it. It was proven by the Bitcoin and blockchain. Now, computationally, this poses interesting challenge and we have to think, what is the process of scientific discovery? And we talk about serendipity or a fortunate accident or scientific intuitions. What does that mean? So by moving forward with this challenge, we'll dig deep into the computational aspect of serendipity, scientific intuitions, other process of scientific discovery, and probably we're going to reformulate scientific discovery in a way that is more exhaustive and potentially more effective. This is a very interesting challenge because this means systems have to be able to continuously make major discovery or discovery continuously at scale, highly autonomously or fully autonomously, and able to communicate and write the papers, communicate and uh, provide the reason, you know, wh what's going on behind the discovery. At the same time, discovery has to be aligned with our value. Otherwise, uh, discovery would not be considered as important. So like a strategic choice of the topic and then the communicating implication of the discovery and in the communicating with the peers and in the general public would be the another challenge which makes AI system more valuable and that makes uh, more human-like. At the same time, the question is, the pattern of scientific discovery by the machine would mimic human scientific discovery or make it something very different? That would be a very interesting question because, you know, patent or process of discovery may not be the same as a human uh, discovery process. So we maybe actually end up reformulating the scientific discovery process by machines. Now, 20 plus years ago, I proposed systems biology. And if you look at the progress with systems biology, it uh, uh, became mainstream in uh, biomedical science and everyone talking about systems biology in every school had some kind of system biology, one or the other. At the same time, we are, Know, having a hard time scaling up a precision model at large scale. So like in system biology community, there are either high precision model at a small scale or large scale model or data 
uh, in, of uh, analysis based on the more the statistical approach, it is still not possible to create a large scale precision model or the mechanical model, uh, even 20 years of the system battle research. And I concluded system biology is the science for the artificial intelligence or AI hybrid system. One of the reasons is the human cognitive limitations because we can't really tackle very large amount of knowledge or data and in a very complex situation. So, you know, either we cannot access the information or knowledge and then we can't really keep handling this at a large scale. And that's what the AI or machine is good at. So I think like the way we move forward in system biology or probably other science of the similar nature is to have like a hybrid system in between the human being and artificial intelligence. Mm. Now, of course, AI for scientific discovery is nothing new. I mean, there's the history of the dendral, metadendral, AM, Eurisco, and others. And then most recently, uh, Ross King's, uh, you know, uh, robot scientist, which is automating uh, East genetics, uh, uh, hypothesis generations, designing uh, experiment, and actually run experiment and verify that. So it's a closed loop system. You know. So now I think it's a great opportunity in front of us that we can augment such a system and combine several AI approach and the large scale uh, data generation capabilities and robots capability to be able to create highly automated multifunctional and open-ended system to generate hypotheses, run experiments and verify that and keep going and then create scientific discovery at scale. I think this approach of the AI based scientific discovery may change the way we think, the way we run the science. Because at this moment we consider scientific intuition is important, asking right questions is important. However, those things will not fade away. It's not gonna totally go on, but like with the machine creating hypothesis exhaustively, done experiments, and verify that, close the loop system highly autonomously may change the way we approach things. So this is extremely important uh, project. I hope like everyone to join the project and it could be the new challenge that the uh, scientific community will engage. Thank you very much.